Summary Amy Roloff's emotional turmoil over Matt Roloff's new engagement is sad. Is she still in love with her ex? Despite moving on with Chris Merrick, Amy may still be hurting. Does she wish that her first marriage was a forever union? Matt's troubled past, including addiction, makes him a complex figure. He's had troubles and even fits the bad boy archetype sometimes. Chris and Amy may be happy, but that doesn't mean that Amy never thinks about what could have been. Little People, big world star Amy Roloff's dealt with so much hardship in her life, including a shocking divorce from Matt Roloff, and it's possible that she's still pining for her ex. While Amy's moved on with Chris Merrick, she clearly deals with emotional turmoil while interacting with Matt and his new fiancé, Karin Chandler. Matt broke Amy's heart, did it ever really heal? She wanted to be his wife forever. Now, she's got a new man, but the past casts a long, dark shadow. Amy may still be hurting and wishing that her life had turned out differently. She may blame Karin for ruining it. Little People, Big World Season 25 star Amy hasn't had the easiest life, and if she feels bitter and jealous sometimes, that's only fair. However, on screen, Matt's engagement with Karin may be hurting her more than it should. Amy married Chris on August 28, 2021, and it seems like she should be over Matt. However, she's clearly extremely uncomfortable while interacting with Karin. Matt and Amy's relationship seemed shady at the start, and Amy's obviously haunted by that. Amy really loved Matt and wanted to be with him forever. Karin tore her whole life apart. Related 20 best reality TV shows right now television is being impacted by the ongoing entertainment industry strikes, leaving many turning to reality TV. What are the best shows right now? Little People, Big World's Matt shocked Amy with his farm announcement Matt Roloff Karin Chandler said they'd leave the farm to Amy Roloff during the Little People, Big World season 25 premiere, the trailers shown above, as per TLC at YouTube, Zach Roloff had a terrible health crisis that was hard to watch. His excruciating headache was a sign of a deeper problem. He needed surgery as the shunt implanted in his head, which was meant to relieve pressure, wasn't working properly. However, there was more drama. Matt decided to propose to Karin, and as Amy absorbed that news, he and Karin told her that they planned to leave her whatever share of the farm they owned when they passed away. Maybe that kind gesture was meant to take the sting out of the engagement news, but really, when Amy said, okay, let's see the ring it was quite sad. She was obviously stressed and upset about Matt and Karin's engagement and trying to tough it out. She has stated that she goes out of her way to be cordial to Karin. That must require so much effort, as she surely feels like Karin betrayed her. Karin was an employee at Roloff Farms when she became involved with Matt. Amy reportedly found racy texts between the two, including naughty photos, which greatly upset her. It was all so nasty and hurtful. Clearly, Matt fell head over heels in love with Karin and that was the reason why Amy's marriage with Matt, which had lasted for 28 years, ended in 2015. Amy's a good woman but shed have to be a saint not to resent and probably secretly hate, Karin. The other woman wreaked havoc. Amy's admitted shall never be friends with Karin. However, Matt's the prime mover here. He was the one who was in a marriage with Amy. 
Nonetheless, Karin was fully aware of Matt's marital status. Therefore, both are to blame. People fall in love. Things happen and sometimes, falling in love can be very destructive. Matt's love for Karin, whose intentions are often questioned, meant that Amy's marriage was destroyed. Of course, Matt should NT stay in a marriage with a woman he doesn't love, particularly when he's in love with another woman. However, what Matt and Karin did to Amy was brutal. Imagine how Amy must have felt when she found those secret messages. The pain must have been unbearable. Amy's had to face some hard truths about Matt, unfortunately, she also has to deal with Karin sometimes. Life would probably be more pleasant if Amy didn't have to be polite to Matt's partner. Amy bravely does what she has to do, mostly for the sake of her children. A part of Amy may still love Matt, but she had enough courage to move on. Amy is very strong, it's inspiring how she's achieved so much despite a host of challenges, including dwarfism. Society isn't always kind to little people. Nonetheless, Amy got a business degree. Also, Amy helped Matt with Roloff Farms for years, working hard to please a man who was often irritable and difficult. In Matt's defense, he has lived with pain his whole life. His form of dwarfism brings more health issues than Amy's. Chronic pain will negatively impact a person's mood. It's a lot to live with. Amy, whose pumpkin salsa is a hit, is an amazing cook and a caring mother. She was a loving wife. She met Matt at a conference for little people. They married the same year. To Amy, that must have felt like a fairy tale. The down-to-earth Virgo Amy may not have been romantic enough for Libra Matt, as he developed a wandering eye. Perhaps Matt and Amy just weren't compatible. However, Amy didn't know that Matt was so unhappy. She was blindsided. Amy Matt Roloff married on September 12, 1987 Amy Matt Roloff divorced on May 18, 2016 While Amy seems grouchy and bossy sometimes, when all the stress and pain she's endured are considered, she's actually very gentle. There's something noble about the way she's trying to deal with all of this. Perhaps Matt and Amy don't deserve Amy's kindness. They may not appreciate everything that's beautiful about her. Hopefully, little people, big worlds Chris Merrick does and viewers do. Matt and Karin may not even be telling the truth about their plans to leave the farm to Amy. Matt once told his sons that they would be allowed to take over the farm someday. Instead, Matt sold them out. He could do the same thing to Amy. Matt Roloff wasn't the perfect husband Amy Roloff tried but he always criticized her close Matt and Amy's marriage wasn't perfect before Karin came in and drilled the final nail in the coffin. They already had problems which made Matt more susceptible to an affair. Matt seemed to cut Amy down a lot. It's like he didn't truly respect his wife, who's the mother of his children. However, there's no good reason not to respect Amy. Amy's not a bad person. Amy tried to make Matt happy and be a good mother. She's still doing those things. She's attempting to be cordial with Karin, which must be rough. She was there for Zach during his recent health crisis. Matt wasn't there. Amy's the one who keeps the peace. Matt's more warlike. He's happy with Karin, but maybe he should be more wary. 
Amy should probably be wary too. Both of these little people have ended up with typically sized adults who fell in love with them after they became famous. It's possible that Amy and Matt are being used. Amy and Matt have celebrity, clout and money. When Amy and Matt fell in love, perhaps it was more honest and real. Someday, Matt may regret believing in Karin so much and leaving Amy. Another scenario is that Hell be happy in a relationship that's secretly transactional. Do these regular-sized people really love their little people partners? They could, but because there's so much suspicion about their motives, it's possible that they don't. They may be able to fake it over the long term for personal gain. They could be fond of their partners but not deeply in love. There are all kinds of possibilities beyond these two people, Karen and Chris, truly adoring their significant others. When Amy invented a pumpkin salsa recipe, which they went on to sell as one of the farm's offerings, Matt attempted to take credit for the idea. A man who loved his wife probably wouldn't do that. Why Matt felt compelled to claim the credit for his wife's ingenuity is anyone's guess. Maybe he feels threatened when other people achieve. The pumpkin salsa drama was a very bad sign and a red flag. Today, Amy's cooking skills have helped to keep her in the public eye. She has her own recipe book. So, Amy was able, once again, to move past Matt's negativity and hindering. On another occasion, during a getaway at a dude ranch, Matt felt that Amy dropped the ball by choosing that destination, so he left early, and hurt his wife in the process. Yes, the dude ranch might not have been the right choice for him. He felt that his mobility problems made having a good time there impossible, and he was probably right about that. However, he didn't really care how Amy felt. He was quite selfish, and he's often quite selfish. That's why Matt's feuding with Zack. His son feels like he burned him over the farm sale. So, Amy seemed to lose a man who didn't really love her. That's not as great a loss as it seems. However, she had kids with this man and spent decades with him. Of course, Shed believed that he loved her, why wouldn't she? Coming to terms with the fact that Matt just wanted to be free of her must have hurt terribly, and it still stings her. If she loves Matt, she deserves sympathy because he does not love her. He won't be coming back. As Austin Powers memorably said, that train has sailed maybe Matt changed, or perhaps he was never totally in love with Amy. Maybe he was always playing a part, like one of those creepy men in those dramas about secret and shocking infidelity. The problem is that Amy remembers Matt when he was sweet. That's what she misses. She may always miss it. Is Amy Roloff still in love with bad boy Matt? Matt Roloff is no angel close Matt appears wholesome, but he has made serious mistakes in the past. A lot of people might not realize that Matt was once addicted to cocaine. Lots of people live with addiction, luckily, the often condescending Matt was able to stop using the drug. However, his former cocaine dependency shows a risk-taking side. He was also arrested once, for allegedly driving under the influence of alcohol. Little people are little, but they're still human beings who can fall into the same traps as everyone else. Possibly, Matt's bad boy characteristics actually appealed to Amy. Plenty of women enjoy being around ultra-confident men who do bad things. 
For example, some women send letters to prisoners who've been convicted of terrible crimes. While it's possible that Matt's bad boy traits aren't why she misses him, there's always the chance that Matt provided the kind of excitement that she secretly craves. Amy looks sad when she's with Matt and Karen. That's undeniable. Her stress is right there on the surface. Amy's admitted that the interactions are painful and awkward. It's like an endless war that she needs to fight. If she still loves Matt, it must be psychological torture. Maybe Matt isn't noticing these signals. It's possible that he can feel his ex-wife's torment. That might be why he offered to leave the farm to her. Amy can love Chris and still love Matt. People are complicated. While Chris may be a great partner who makes Amy feel safe and loved, she's going to look back sometimes. Of course, she'll compare her current partner with her ex. Secretly, Amy may feel like what she had with Matt was more meaningful. Right now, on screen in Little People, Big World Season 25, Matt's building his dream home with Karen. It looks like it'll be a gorgeous rancher without stairs. It's the perfect home for a little person. However, he'll never share it with another little person, Amy. Instead, Matt will share it with a woman of typical size. All of these milestones in Matt's life that Amy can't share with him must make her wonder, what if? If Karin hadn't worked at Roloff Farms, would that home be Matt and Amy's? It's a lot to process. Source. TLC, YouTube Little People, Big World During Little People, Big World Season 25, Matt and Amy Roloff are trying to stay friends as they move in different directions. Matt proposed to Karen Chandler, and they're building a new house. Amy's married to Chris Merrick. While both exes are in new partnerships, there's still tension when the duos come together.